What's going on people? Fame Entertainment here from the Inner Circle. Like, share, subscribe, and let your voice be heard. It's almost your three time, baby. Yeah, buddy. Now, the inner fanboys of people want to say Microsoft is quiet because they have absolutely nothing to show at E3. They have absolutely no games coming down the pike. Xbox sucks. Microsoft sucks. They're done. x -bone done. Xbox done. Whatever the case may be. But it does pose a question. Why is Microsoft so quiet this year? You know, we really don't know about things coming out into the future. You know, we know about certain games that we've heard about either last year or the year before, but they are extremely quiet. Sony, on the other hand, they're constantly going out and snatching up marketing deals. You know, from Red Dead Redemption 2, we know they had Call of Duty to, Battle, to Battlefront 2, Destiny 2. And just recently, I, I don't think we have confirmation, but recently we're hearing that they may even have the marketing deal for FIFA. Which is getting some people in the Xbox camp, you know, wondering what in the hell is going on. Has Microsoft and Xbox really fallen this far? I don't think so and hear me out i really think sorry if you go back to around the time phil spencer first came onto xbox he talked about uh the investment into first party games i know people are going to say oh fam but they xbox ain't got no games fam <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my Okay, so when Phil talked about that, investing into first party, that would do less third party stuff. You guys have to understand he said that when he first started and things do not happen overnight. You can't, cre you can't create a game and put it out overnight. It doesn't take six months or, or, you know, eight months or a year. You know, games take a while, two to three years, depending on the, the type of game. And I truly believe that we'll begin to see the, the fruits of Microsoft's labor. I really think they're quiet and you, you're seeing Sony eat up the third party deals because I really think that they could be investing or they have been investing in first party. Could I be wrong? Hell yeah. As always, I reserve the right to be wrong about everything. I could be completely wrong and Microsoft could just be sitting there with their thumb up their butt not knowing what's going on. But I don't think that's the case. I honestly think that they are just sitting and and waiting to release, you know, ready ready to talk about the games that they have prepared to come out for you guys or come out for us as gamers. You know, like I said, I, I really can't just you know not take them for their word because, like, like I said, games don't happen overnight. Studios don't pop up overnight. That's just that's just the way it is. So if if, my, if Phil is telling you, hey, we're gonna do less third party stuff. Try to focus focus on more, you know, first party stuff or focus more IPs that we own, you know, getting stuff out there, developing first party. They're kind of showing that in a way. They're showing half of it. They're showing, you know, less third party stuff, as you can see with Sony pretty much eating up every third party deal around. I'm not saying Microsoft won't do third party stuff because they will. It just won't be as much. I know Shinobi came out on Twitter and said, hey, you know, Microsoft has a unannounced AAA game that they will be marketing for. There will be some, don't get me wrong, but they've shown the first half. They've shown half of Phil Spencer's statement with less third party. Now, with E3 being so close, it's time to see the other half of what he's talking about with the first party investments. And I really think that's why they're so quiet. You know, Phil has come on doing interviews before and said, hey, you know, I think we shot ourselves in the foot announcing games too early, which I think can be a catch-22. You can announce games too early and they can get completely canned to council like Fable Legends, Scalebound. Um, Phantom Dust Reboot, you can, you know, those can be counseled and you can shoot yourself in the foot. Or what what I think is happening now is you're holding everything entirely too close to the vest. And people are concerned because they have no idea what your future looks like. We know what Sony's future looks like, and it looks absolutely bright. You know, Days Gone, God of War, Spider-Man. We know they got games coming out, and all those games are not coming out this year. They don't have you have to come out this year because... Sony has started this year off absolutely amazing with their uh, exclusive titles. And, they, you know, they can push a game like Spider-Man to the spring of 2019, whatever the case may be. So holding games close to the vest could be is worrisome to some people because they feel as if um, Microsoft doesn't have, you know, anything coming out, which I think is a complete asinine statement. They're making games. Games are coming. It's not as if... You know, there are their Xbox will have no titles, no exclusive titles releasing in 2019. There's, that's not even that's not even a logical way of thinking. Thinking, oh, there's only Halo Gears 4 is coming out 
you know, those only three coming out for the next four or five years on Xbox. That's a fanboy is asking our way of thinking things. Things are coming. They just take time. I think, you know, when, whenever you change the head of a company or change the head of a division, rollover happens. Things take time. Now, if E3 comes and goes and we don't see, you know, a collection of three or four new IPs that are possibly coming end of this year, the beginning of next year, yeah, it's time to panic. It's time to really worry, okay, what the hell is going on? But I'm giving Phil at least to his third year. And this is his third year. This this is the year we have to show us, okay, you talked about doing less third-party stuff and more first-party stuff. You talked about that. So this is the year that I need to see that. I need, I need to see the proof. I need to see the games. I need to see concepts of games. I need to see trailers of games. I need to see teasers of the games. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. This is Fame Entertainment from TICGN.com. You guys have a great one. And I'm out. Yeah! 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 Step back straight from the bando. Niggas been stacking them bands though. I stay in the hood like a bando. Can I look like money, no camo? Yeah, camo flies behind T. Hustle, souped up, crack I am a tame. The fuck with you lame. My side bitch, your main. Baby, no fame. This is no flex, don't got ammo. Yo, ho, do what I say so. Leave a nigga stiff like stay